Good morning, everyone. Today is Noble's six month birthday, which is kind of cool. Six months ago today, I was in labor at this point. Kind of exciting not to be in labor. And he's getting so big. I went in his room this morning and he was rolled over onto his tummy sleeping, which is the first time that's really happened. And then, um, you know, he's sitting up pretty well and he's even attempting to start saying daddy. Although Josh didn't believe me at first until he came in the room this morning and Noble looked at him and said it. Of course, you know, it doesn't sound like daddy. It's just pretty similar. Um, and Josh was pretty excited and Noble was pretty excited and mommy felt kind of left out because he didn't say mommy. Not even close to saying mommy. I'm going to the book fair this morning and then I have some kids to go see. And I'm meeting this afternoon and then picking up Noble. We're trying to figure out um, his daycare schedule because technically he might be asleep when I normally get off work to come see. Okay, I wonder what's going on. We all just started running a red light and now it finally turned green. I think because it skipped us like three times. Um, because he might be going to sleep later because if he takes a longer earlier nap. So anyway, I'm trying to figure that all out so that way we, I'm not having to wake him up, but I don't want to really leave him there because I really like hanging out with him. So, well, let me go. I'm going down the road and getting kind of funny looks for people. But anyway, that's beside the point. That's just because of where I'm driving and, and whatnot. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm driving home from work right now. I'm gonna go grab lunch after I work out. I'm driving home an hour later than normal. I'm driving over one instead of 12 for lunch. So I'm really hungry, but I, I just didn't want to stop what I was doing. I wanted to finish what I was doing at work and, and then I wanted to be able to just go home. And then when I come back to work, I have other parts of that project, but that particular part of the project is done. So that was the, that's what I wanted to get done before I came uh, home to work out and eat lunch. So, yeah, so I'm headed home now. I'm going to do my workout, and then I'm going to take a shower, maybe grab lunch, either eat it on the way back or eat it while I'm working. And I'm not going to record today's workout, but I was thinking, I kind of want to put our workout, I kind of want to put my workouts at least a, you know, a couple clips of it into my into my daily thing because that's, that's what I do and I like to encourage people to work out and I just feel like if you see some of the, some of the workouts I do that might be might be encouraging so I'm going to start throwing those up there Hey guys, so I just finished my workout for today super intense super short a lot of fun um, yeah, I'm going to take a shower see you out in the car Ooh, hey everybody, so I am headed back to work from lunch. Actually, I have my lunch sitting here in the passenger seat. I'm going to have to eat it while I'm, uh, while I'm doing stuff in the video. So, yep. Man, it is hot today. Um, I did my workout in the, in, in the garage. I was thinking about doing it on the back deck. So I was thinking about doing it on the back deck, but I was afraid of heat exhaustion. <laughs> So, I don't know, I don't think that, the, the way the sun is, and when I come home from lunch, the sun's just like beaming right down on me, um, if I'm on the back porch, so I'm, I, I, that may not be happening, um, I may just have to do my workouts in the garage, and then we move inside, and uh, just do the workouts outside when like it's shady, or like it's overcast would be nice, and that kind of thing. So yeah, I just got done working out. Um, I'm headed back to the office to finish up that video stuff for about another two and a half, three hours. And then when work is over, I'm going to meet Anna and Noble at the park because today is the six months ago <laughs> Noble was born, September 19th. So we are now celebrating his half birthday, um, as it were. So we're going to go to the park, 
and uh, have a little picnic at the park. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're just going to we're just going to have a good time hanging out. We'll probably swing and we'll walk around some trails and um, just generally have a good time. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's such nice weather. Here's the other thing about not holding my camera. Mm. Drink it in. He does this every time. There you go. There you go. Hey. You gonna get him? Such a big boy. <laughs> You ready? Are you a little big? Yeah. Wow, what was that? Hey! What was that? <laughs> noble. Do the noble dance. <laughs> No, well, honey, you make the funniest faces. Let's go. Oh, Lena, come here. Ah. It's the end of the day. We just left the park, and you can hear Noble in the back talking. He's working on saying daddy. He can get it pretty much together, which is pretty awesome because he's only six months old today. Um, anyway, he had fun swinging on the swing, and we had fun walk in, just hanging out with me and the family. He uh, he loves his daddy and so when his daddy was pushing him on the swing he would like grab for the him or the camera every time he got close which was pretty cool to see. Um, but the rest of the night kind of holds me finishing up some baby food I've already made. Sweet potatoes and um, peaches yesterday and then today I've already made mangoes. So I got butternut squash carrots, apples, and pears left. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I can get it all made today and tomorrow so that I don't have to worry about it. I like making it all at one time and then I freeze it in ounce portions, one ounce portions. That way I don't have to worry about um, about where to put it and having to make it on the spot. I can just kind of make it and be done and then I just get it out and steam it the next morning and that way he can have it with his cereal um, and milk all together. And Noble's just kind of listening to me talk in the back. You gonna say anything, bud? It's really cute that he's working on saying daddy. Although, you know, part of me wishes that he was working on saying mommy, but daddy's a much easier word. And daddy's pretty awesome, so I understand why to say the word daddy first. He had a good day at daycare. He ate most of his food and took pretty good naps and then he took a nap when we got home um, before we went to the park. So, but he seems to love the park. It's funny when you put him in the swing in the beginning, he, um, he doesn't know what to think. And then he gets going and he looks up at, at Josh and then he looks back at me and then I look up at Josh and then he'll get home, he'll get used to it, and then he'll be like, awesome, I love this, and smiles and giggles and, and whatnot, so it's kind of fun. So, but tomorrow's the first official day of spring, so I don't know what I'm going to do with my kids at work, but, you know, we have to do something spring-like. Maybe we'll, we'll work on a paper with a spring on it. But other than that, work's going pretty good. I mean, I'm still loving it, and... Oh, I heard that yawn, and um, I have my first solo IEP meeting on Thursday, so that's kind of kind of interesting. And it's with an interpreter, you know, so be a whole different school story as well. 
but we'll see. Oh, and I forgot to say that for his six month birthday, he got some really cool books from the book fair. Um, one of them is called Aliens Who Wore Underwear Saved the Planet. So I'm really excited. I think that's the one we'll read tonight. But he got a couple other really cool ones. Um, he got his first Pete the Cat and um, a deep sea diving one. And he had Hibernation Station. It was really fun going to the book fair for him. So that was his little gift for being half a year old today. So anyway, we just got home and um, I'm going to go in and feed him. And he's going to have spinach and peas and apples for dinner all mixed together. And then he's going to go to bed. So... We shall see, but he is officially six months old today, so yay.